So I recently bought this cold pod, and when I was shopping around I noticed that there was a lot of them like this, but there weren't really any reviews on them. So I wanted to make a video to give my quick first impressions of it and do just an initial review after taking a few ice baths in it. So here you go. It got here pretty quickly, which was nice. It's 75 centimeters in diameter and in height, which is just under two and a half feet. It says it's suitable for anyone under 6'7", but it fits me pretty much perfectly and I'm about 6'1 and 200 pounds. So if you're any taller than I am, you might not be able to get completely submerged in this thing. It's pretty light overall, but the quality feels decent. It feels like it's almost as thick as a beer koozie, but the material is more nylon and rubber. It's got a capacity of 320 liters or just about 85 gallons. It also has a nice drainage tap, which makes it easy whenever you wanna change the water. But I will say that the hose that comes with it is rather short. I just keep the cold pod right by my garage door. So whenever I wanna drain it, I just kinda of pull the hose and stick it outside and open the tap. And that pretty much gets it completely empty. Then I just tip it over and get the rest of the water out. I saw one of the Amazon comments ask how to keep the water clean. I use a one inch chlorine tablet in a floater, which keeps the chlorine levels a little high, but it ensures that the water is not too nasty. Totally optional, but that helps me not have to change out the water as frequently. If you'd like to see a, a video on how I cool this thing down without using ice, or if you wanna know how I keep it clean, let me know and I can do something on that too. One of my big concerns was whether or not I would fit comfortably in here because I'm about six foot one and 200 pounds. I wanted to make sure that I can submerge myself right up to my neck. I didn't really wanna have my shoulders sticking out. I also wanted to be able to like dunk my head. So it's like perfect for me. It feels high quality. The pictures don't do it justice. Like the nylon, the nylon on the outside is like really thick. This is gonna be perfect. The setup was super simple. There was a lot of complaints about the foot pump, but all I did was lay it down on its side and that foot pump worked perfectly to fill up this top ring. I took the air out and refilled it in like 30 seconds. I really pulled the trigger on buying this because it was under 200 bucks, which is pretty reasonable for a lot of these tubs. There was a couple more tubs that looked like this that were cheaper, but they didn't have like the thick nylon outside and they didn't have as good of reviews as this company did. The next big test for me is gonna see how long it keeps water cold. If you wanna buy a cold pod like this and you wanna support like a small business, I recommend going directly through them instead of going through Amazon. But either way, you can get it on Amazon if that's your thing. If you do decide to go directly through them, you can use the coupon code Dorian Develops and they'll give you 10% off of your purchase. Make sure to check out the coldpod.com and see if this is what you're looking for because I really feel really good about it. I'm curious to see if the amount of frozen bottles that I have can cool this down way faster than the garbage can because the garbage can was a big hassle and I needed a ton of ice to cool that thing down. And I feel like I can get away with like one or two bags of ice in here as long as the water is around 60 degrees to bring it down to the temperature that I'm looking for for my deliberate cold exposure. So since it's a warmer day, the tap water from the garden hose was kind of warm and all my frozen bottles were enough to bring it down to like the mid fifties. Now I'm just gonna dump the refrigerator ice that I have in there, which is about a bag. I would say there's about five pounds of ice. I think that's gonna get it right where I want it. I don't want it too cold. I'm trying to really find my sweet spot. I was foolish to think that I was gonna cross my legs and get comfortable in there, but you know, when the cold hit, I had to get down. So I just kind of hugged my knees a little bit, worked perfectly. I was completely neck down. I gotta say, first experience, I'm pretty happy with it. I lost a lot of water there, but I was expecting that, which is fine. Once I figure out where the proper water level is for me to not have it overflow every time, uh, you know, it's just kind of getting the hang of it. For first initial, impressions of it. The setup was really easy. The foot pump wasn't as bad as people made it out to be. So I'm happy with my purchase. I'm happy with the first few uses. And I'm gonna check to see how the temperature holds up. I'm gonna pull out all the water bottles that I have frozen in there and throw them back in the freezer. And I'm gonna just leave the water in there. It is a warm day. I'm assuming the garage is gonna get a little hot today. So I'm really, really hoping that when I come out tomorrow, it's not 70 degrees. Let's see how it works out. I'll make sure to let you guys know before the end of the video. 
So I used a cold pod for the first time yesterday. I got it down to like mid fifties and I thought that was good enough for me. My thing was that I really wanted to see how cool it stayed overnight. And I will say that it was about five to 10 degrees warmer this morning than it was yesterday when I got in it but it was still cooler in there than it was in the garage. I, I tested the ground in my garage this morning and it was about 67, 68 degrees Fahrenheit and the water in there was about 60, 59. So I'm pretty happy with that. Again, I'm not bringing it down super cold and these are also the warmer months. I've had it cooling down while I did a little workout and now I'm gonna take my ice bath for today. It gets the job done. You know, from the Huberman challenge that I did, I got used to this getting way colder, but it's still 52 is good. Three minutes. Ah, oh, man, there is something so special about those. Oh, if you've never done this and you're on the fence, regardless of if you buy the cold pod or, or try to do it in your bathtub or in a garbage can like I did, these ice baths, oh, man, they feel great when you're done.